In this video, I'm going to show you how you can design and animate a beautiful end screen inside of it Film Express. So uh, as you can see, I have some assets files over here, such as icons, images, and videos. I'm going to be using these in this project. So yeah, let's get started. Let's get started by creating a new composite shot. Let's call this end screen. And typically the duration of end screens ranges from like five seconds and 20 seconds. So let's make this 20 seconds long, 19, 20, 1080. Uh, 30 fps should be good enough and click on ok and now let's create a new plane layer and i'm going to call this shape pg for shape background let's give it a white color and click on ok uh, now we'll be designing our in screen first and later on we will animate uh, the elements so yeah let's uh, go to effects and search for polar warp and apply it on this layer so let's just extend this polar warp uh, right on the viewer. You can just drag it out and extend it. Now you can also uh, change the range over here. And uh, I'm going to just uh, reduce that, something like that. And I also want to flip it. So under rotation, I can set this to 180. And uh, let's, for the range, let's go for 100. Now at the top, you can see we have this transparent area over here. You can either use a simple solid background and apply a fill color on this and change its color something like that uh, or you can just uh, drag in a video you can use any video as a background in this tutorial i'll be using this uh, video as the background footage let's create a new comp and this will be our channel placeholder and for the width we'll use 294 for width and height will be 294 as well click on ok and now we'll just drag in an image let's use this image over here and uh, we'll just um, close out of this and in the end screen we'll just find this uh, composite shot where is it oh it's right in this folder let's uh, move it outside the folder okay now cool now in this channel place so we'll just drag that inside this comp right you can see your image right over there and we'll just add an ellipse mask to this so just click and hold on this icon click and hold and and from this list select ellipse mask and then just simply uh, double click on this icon make sure you select the channel placeholder layer first and then you just simply double click on this icon and it will just create an ellipse mask like this now in the effect search for drop shadow and apply it on this layer and just increase the penumbra value which is basically softness of the shadow and it will kind of look like it is elevated from the background all right so there is our channel placeholder now let's create our video placeholder the previous video and the next video so let's do that i'm going to create a new composite shot and let's call it video placeholder previous for the width we'll use 615 and for the height we'll set this to 345 click on ok and here you can just place your previous footage previous video footage but what i'm going to do is i'm going to use an image instead of a video just for the sake of this tutorial like so and you can just close out of this go back to your end screen comp and here you can just place your video placeholder in this comp just drag and drop it and there is your video placeholder now you can leave it as it is you have these sharp corners but if you want to make them rounded like in the example or in the preview you can also do that just simply select your layer and again go to the mask over here click and hold and select rectangle mask and just double click on this icon it will create a mask around your comp and now you can go to transform and reduce the scale amount set that to 90 the reason is if we right now change the expansion you can see that nothing really happens but if we reduce the scale to 90 percent and now if we change the expansion you can see we get these rounded corners so i'm going to set this to 15 that is looking good and now i can place it in the bottom left corner so uh, for youtube end screens there is a safe area as well just like there is safe area for youtube banners so for the safe area let's create a new plane layer and i'm going to call it safe area and for the width we'll use 1832 and for the height we'll use 77 776 and uh, for the color let's give it a different color and click on ok to apply it so this will be our safe area 
and you can just reduce its opacity so that we can see what's going on behind this now you can place your the placeholder comp in the bottom left of this uh, placeholder of this air safe area so let's just select that and you can just simply go to layout and select these two layers make sure they are both highlighted and then you can click on this icon that says align horizontal left and then you can click on align vertical bottom and we place in the bottom left corner now you can go to your media panel over here and uh, duplicate this video placeholder duplicate it Control d to duplicate or you can also right click and click on duplicate now i can rename this one let's call it next right video placeholder next i'm going to double click on it and delete the previous media from here and you can place another video footage over here but i'm going to just use an plain image over here all right and you can just place it right in the center close out of this and let's bring that in find your video placeholder next bring that in put it under the safe area and i can just uh, copy the attributes from the previous layer so select your video placeholder uh, which is the previous one right click click on copy select the new comp with the next placeholder right click click on paste attributes and paste both of these mask and the position attributes and click on paste all right now both of them will have same positioning and will have mask applied to it uh, i'm going to just go to uh, the video placeholder next go to transform hold the control key and click on this value over here and we'll just uh, position it on the opposite side all right that is looking great now let's toggle off the layer visibility on the safe area now what we're going to do is put some text on top of this video comp over here so let's create a new text layer and let's call it previous video and i'm going to go to text tab change the font and make it black and the font size is 20 monstrad and i can just just position it over here i think we'll just make this black so that we can just read it properly and maybe we can set the font size to 30 all right i can select this layer and select video placeholder previous comp now you can see that both of these are selected i can go to layout and click on this icon that says align horizontal center and you can see that your text will be aligned in the center of this uh, shape over here of this comp over here let's rename this layer the text layer to previous video and i'm going to place it right on top of the comp which is associated with it so i'm going to select these two and i can also change the color uh, or the label color so let's use something like this and i can just duplicate this previous video text i'm going to duplicate it and let's call this next video put it on top of the comp which is this one over here and i can just uh, select these two and change their label colors as well and in the next video i can just expand it transform and again hold the control key and click on this value and it will just put it on the right side and i can select it and change the text and call it next video now what i can do is to clean up this end screen comp i can just group these uh, text layers and composite shots together so let's select these four items over here or these four elements over here i right click click on make composite shot and i can call it video info and click on ok so now they'll be in their separate comps over here and uh, we have to animate these as well so for the animation we'll do that at the end for now let's add more items into this scene so the next thing we're going to do is we'll just create more text so let's select our text tool and uh, type in some text so i'll just say don't uh, forget to subscribe all right so there's our text and uh, i can just put it right in the center like so go to text tab and increase the font size let's go for 40 i can duplicate this layer and uh, just move it to the top right over here and change its color to white and i can uh, just change the font and say thanks for watching and now i can increase the font size as well let's make this 50 now we'll add more elements such as social media icons so let's do that and in my assets folder over here i have these icons over here such as instagram tiktok and twitter uh, you can use your own if you have some different accounts you can use their icons 
So I'm going to drag in Instagram, put it at the top. And uh, the first thing I'll do is change the color and make it white. So apply fill color on this, turn it into a white color and reduce the scale value to let's go for maybe 12 or maybe 15. Okay, so let's place it on the left side of our text. I think it's too big. So let's maybe let's go for 12 or maybe even 10. Yeah, that's much better. Drag in TikTok logo. Of course, you can. If you don't like TikTok, you can replace it with Facebook. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the attributes from the previous layer, right? Click, click on copy and paste it on the new layer. Paste attributes. Uh, what I'm not going to paste is the position. Or let's just paste the position as well. So we can just change it later on. Paste it. Now they are, you know, overlapping one another. So let's expand it. Go to transform and change the position. Set this to zero so that it's right in the center. Now I can drag in Twitter, put it at the top and right click, click on paste attributes and paste all these attributes, click on paste and expand it, go to transform, hold the control key and just click on this value and just move it to the right side. I can also group these three together into a single comp, right click, click on make composite chart and I'm going to call it SM for social media, click on OK. Select the text tool and I'm going to type in some text. Uh, let's call it Instagram slash account or, you know, you have to put your own account name over there. All right. So instead of account, you put your own account name. I'm going to go to text tab and change the font and I'm going to make this regular. So just find regular. And for the font size, I'm going to set this to 20. And that should look something like this. Now I can, you know, place it right in the center like so you can use the layout panel as well but i think that it is pretty centered i can rename this layer call it ig for instagram and i can just place it right under the icon over here i'm going to select these two layers and uh, just change their label so that we can you know differentiate these easily i can duplicate this ig text and call it tt for tiktok and put it right under the tiktok logo over here select these two layers change their label color and i can just select the text over here transform right and i can just change the position if i put in zero no not the right position so let's just drag that to the left yeah i think that looks fine and now i'll just change that to tiktok so then we'll just duplicate it again and i'm going to rename this to twitter and put it under the logo, select these two, change their label color. And on the text, I'm going to just, oh, first of all, let's just move it and put it under the icon over here. And I'm going to just rename it to Twitter. All right, cool. Now, if you go back to end screen, you can see that they're all updated over here and we have successfully designed the end screen. Now we have to animate the elements over here. So first thing we'll animate is channel icon over here. So let's find that this is the comp. I can select it. I can go to transform and animate the transform over here. Let's start at the very first frame, create a keyframe on scale, set that to zero move to one second in time set this to i guess 120 and move 20 frames forward and or maybe let's go for another second forward and set this back to 100 select all of these keyframes convert the keyframes to manual bezier and create a graph like this i'm moving all these handles to the left and to the right and you have an animation like this Okay, so we're going to kind of follow the same graph for all of these uh, animations. So the next thing is the background shape. And let's animate the polar warp over here. So we'll just uh, maybe start at the very first frame, I guess. Or maybe at one second. And I can just create a keyframe on range. Set this to zero. And move forward one second. Set this to 100. Let's select these keyframes, go on the keyframes to Manuel Bezier and create a similar slope as we did before. Yep, I like it. 
like how they are animating at the same time now the next thing is we will animate the video info so let's double click on it and i can animate these elements so i'm going to search for position all right go to the very first frame create a keyframe on position make sure you create a keyframe under the transform group create a keyframe there uh, actually we should have created it at one second so right over here make sure you don't create it under the mask so I just close this uh, so under transform create a keyframe all right so we have created keyframes for the right side the elements on the right side and i can go back to the very first frame and just change their position and move it basically moving away or hiding it from the screen you can also go to options and turn off checkerboard background and change the color as well to something else so that we can see it a little bit clearly and i can do the same thing over here as well change the position select these two and uh, create convert the keyframes to manual bezier i'm going to value graph and uh, let's zoom into this a little bit we'll have an animation like this all right now you can create the same graph as we did before that's looking very fast so um what we can do is instead we'll just move this handle to the right i think that's not what we want so let's move the top handle to the left and see how that looks yeah that is much better so this is the graph that we'll use select these two keyframes and uh, we'll use the same graph go to value graph just hold the shift key and drag these handle all the way to the left we'll have an animation like this cool now you can turn on the motion blur as well if you want to and uh, now we'll just target the elements on the left side so again go to one second make sure you create a keyframe under position which is under transform just hide the mask over here and create the position keyframe on under transform go to the previous frame and actually the very first frame move the position on both of these layers now i can select these two keyframes come on the keyframes to manual bezier moving uh, we have to move all the handles to the left right so let's do that come on the keyframes to manual bezier and move the handle just hold the shift key and move these handles to the left so we'll have a much smoother animation turn on the motion blur on these two so we are done in this video infocom we can close out of this and if we check it out this is how it is going to look now we just want to drag this forward in time maybe right over here yeah that is looking much better All right and now i can select the text which is right over here and uh, we can animate it as well so we'll maybe start it right over here and uh, go to transform and we'll create a simple position keyframe move uh, one second forward in time create a similar keyframe and on the previous one we'll just change the position and bring it a little bit to the top so we have a simple animation like this All right select these two keyframes and the keyframes to manual bezier and just select these handles move this to the right and move this one to the left all right and we can also add a little bit of opacity on this so set the opacity to zero move i guess 10 frames forward and set this to 100 i can play around with the positioning of these keyframes yeah i think that is looking much better you can add effects as well such as blur if you want to let's edit on this um, text layer expand the blur and go to this frame over here and i can create a keyframe on radius move forward 10 frames and set it to zero yeah i think that is looking much better so you can if you want you can just keep it as it is if you don't want it you can just turn off the blur but i kind of like it so i'm going to leave it as it is then i can just copy and uh, paste these uh, attributes on the text which is at the top this one thanks for watching
I'm gonna select that layer, right click and click on paste attributes. Uh, we don't want to mess with the position or yeah, you know what? Let's just paste it anyways. So let's uh, select all these and click on paste. We'll mess up the position, but we'll fix it. So if you go into the layer, go to transform, you can see that we have the keyframes over here. Uh, make sure that they are starting at the same time and we'll just change the position so we'll just move it to the top over here and this one will be right over here and if you play this oh it's too close to the icon so i can just move it to the top and this one uh, we can just actually you can just move it to the bottom so you can do that that is looking much better right i like it i really like it so i'm gonna keep it like that so i can just play this see how it looks maybe we should bring it a little bit before the other text now i can animate the social media comp so i can just um paste these attributes again so let's just paste attributes click on paste they're kind of overlapping right now so what i'm gonna do is let's just pull this you know, actually, let's just select this text over here and just, you know, make it start a little bit higher over here. And on this one, just move it a little bit to the top. Yeah, that's much better. Now, you can also add a um, linear wipe on these social media icons if you want to by simply creating a rectangle mask like so. And you can expand it, expand the shape and expand the, or maybe increase the feather strength. And then you can just simply uh, come into transform, create a keyframe on position, move it to the left, move the mask to the left and move forward in time and move the mask uh, back in the center. So if you play this, we'll have something like this. All right. So that's also an option. But um, I guess that's pretty much it. That's how you can create a elegant and professional looking uh, in-screen animation. Um, so that is it for this video. I hope this was helpful. I hope it will help you in your upcoming projects. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.